Yo, people, let's be careful out there. Let's not be stupid. Hey, everybody, how's it going today? A little different video uh, today. Uh, I was doing some thinking and uh, thought I'd pull over and do a quick video for you. Hey, uh, I was watching a video the other day, uh, not the other day, just yesterday, and I saw it and uh, a couple things happened. I got really upset and mad and then also got sick to my stomach. I was just so mad and sad. Um, and which goes back to if you see my saw my first video rule number four media that's why I don't I try to stay away from video uh, or media I should say and uh, basically what it was and some of you may have already seen it or heard about it on the news or anything but uh, a guy got pulled out of his truck and got beat up pretty good his wife got pulled out of the truck got beat up they pretty much ransacked the truck took everything out of it and while he was dazed sitting on the curb a guy came up and just full-blown kicked him in the head and you know your first thought would be man that never happens in in our country it must be somewhere overseas but no that's happened all over the place in our country uh, and it's really sad and uh, I, I don't like to really get into politics and stuff like that I'm sure there might be a couple of videos where when it comes to the will of God and, and how it how as Christians we have to face it I might have to do something like that but um, but watching that video just kind of made me think you know when I grew up I was always uh, pretty much grew up in a safe place things were a lot different uh, you know when I grew up you could actually disagree with somebody and them not hate you or call you racist or anything like that um, but here's some tips I was thinking of that that might help you um, not just as Christians but just as normal people um, there will be some scriptures in there like Proverbs 22 says a prudent man sees danger takes refuge but the simple minded keep going and suffer for it um, so one of my one of my first tips is um, especially with the crazy things going on people getting pulled out of their cars and riots and everything um, just common sense know where you're going um, you know a lot of people use your GPS and everything that's great but if you're in a new city new place know exactly where you're going know if it's good part of town bad part of town um, that sort of thing know where you're going keep an atlas or map map with you and i literally had a person i used to work with go what, what what's an atlas and they didn't know what an atlas was and when i opened it up they're like what is that how do, how do you even read that they didn't even know how to read a map because um, they want to rely on technology well and I explained, you go into some areas, they're not going to have coverage. You're not going to be able to rely on your GPS all the time. So just get a map for wherever you're at or wherever you're going. Keep it in your car just in case you get lost or the GPS goes down so you know where you're going. And if you're in a new city or even your city, know where the bad places are in part of town. And try not to go there. If you're going to go, go in the daytime. Make sure you're with somebody. Um, just be be safe. Um check the times if you're going to go in the morning if you can do it in the morning or mid-afternoon versus late at night when it's dark um, just all that keep that in mind when you're going around and if you get lost have a backup plan have somebody you can call um, some locations so you can let let them know where you're at um, another common thing which some cars automatically do but some don't um, lock your doors um, just as soon as you get in your car lock your door if you walk into your house, lock the door behind you. Even if you're going to be walking out in 10-15 minutes or whatever because uh, we actually had a thing here in Midland a while back, actually in Odessa, where um, these groups of guys, five or six guys, would just basically wait till somebody shows up and then they would barge right into their house and there'd be four or five of them. So even if you did have a gun, you would have to pick and choose and they would overwhelm the person and, and basically rob the people um, there was a couple shot um, but as soon as you walk in that door lock it behind you make sure you're not being watched you know I, I don't want to make this video to scare people but I just want you guys to think of some common sense things you, you should do um, always lock your doors um, men I know sometimes and the women you gotta listen to this too I don't need a guy to walk me to my door or to open my car door. Um, no, you need to. Uh, you need to let the men do that. Men, you need to stand up and do this. Chivalry isn't dead. 
Don't just think, well, she's just going to walk up the stairs into a apartment. She'll be fine. If you're married, you, you probably should walk her into the house. That just would probably be recommended if you want to stay married, I guess. Um, but open the car doors. Always check your surroundings, you know. Make sure. Walk her to the door so she's safe. Women, let the men do this. Don't think, I don't need anybody to do this. I'll be fine. Just, again, common sense. Uh, with that with that uh know your surroundings um uh, a lot of people even now make fun of me because usually when i go into a restaurant i want to have a seat that's facing the door um i know it sounds crazy um but it's just <laughs> i just want to know so i can see what's going in um usually when i walk into a place again i'm not trying to sound crazy or psycho or anything but i kind of look around my surroundings kind of see what's going on if something were to happen where would i run i always kind of have a backup plan in the back of my mind um you know with wild bill hickok you can learn some things from him you know the dead man's hand and all just saying um, but know your surroundings if there's plants bushes trees you know keep an eye on that if you're walking someplace you don't know if there's you know if there's been rights or anything in that area just stay out of that area you don't nothing's that important your life's not that important um Let's get into conceal carry. Um, if you conceal carry, that's great, but that doesn't make you safe. Um, in most cases, if you conceal carry, you're more dangerous than the people that are committing the crime because you don't know what you're doing. Uh, a lot of people think just because I carry a gun, I'm safe. Well, you have to practice with it. You have to know how to handle it. Um, you need to practice being able to pull it out. Um, it's so much easier to go into a shooting range, take out your gun, take your time, put in your clip, shoot a few rounds, re-put in the ammo. Most instances where you have to pull your weapon is within three to six feet. So it's not exactly where you can take your time and aim at your uh, little target there, paper target 10 yards away. So you need to learn to practice draw some uh, uh, some ranges will let you practice quick draw. Um, some will not. If, if they don't, then go home, take the bullets out of your gun, and make sure there's nothing in the chamber, and then practice quick drawing. Pull it from your concealed uh, holster and stuff. You need to practice this stuff because it's going to be totally different when the live situation happens. And if you plan on pulling that gun, you better know what you're going to do because once you pull it, you're in a totally different world. Even if you think I'm just gonna scare this person, a whole different world. What's gonna happen if they pull a gun on you? You have to know what you're gonna do with it. Plan on knowing you're gonna use it because that's what's gonna have you pulled out. You better be ready to play. Um, another thing is be smart, know your laws. Uh, know the laws in your state. If you're traveling over the border, or not over the border, but into another state, know their laws um, because you saw on the news how those people try to defend their houses and then um, the corrupt officials try to say, oh, what they were doing was wrong and da, 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 da. But Second Amendment states, you can defend your your property. And uh, I think everything's all right with them now. But they went in, confiscated their weapons and everything. Uh, but know your laws and, and be careful when you start pulling that stuff. Um, just use common sense in this day with everything going on. Because you never know when something's going to erupt around you. Just use common sense. And I know as Christians, we think, oh, well, God will save me. God will protect me. But God can only protect you being stupid for so long. Um, God is our refuge. God is our strength and uh, protection. But if you're just testing God by going into these bad places thinking you're Rambo, um, chances are it's not going to end up good for you. Um, but let me read a couple quick scriptures, and I'll leave you with this. Um, let's go to uh, Psalm 46 verses 1 through 3 God is our refuge and strength and an ever present help in trouble therefore we will not fear though the earth give away and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea though the waters roar and the foam and the mountains quake with their surging um, then we're going to go to Psalm 121 and we're going to read one through eight it's quick so let's read those i lift up my eyes to the hill the hills where does my help come from my help comes from the lord the maker of heaven and earth he will not let your foot slip 
He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Um, so there's some uh, comforting scriptures for you. Um, I'll put those again in the links. But again, just some common things I thought I'd throw out there to help you guys. And uh, I love you guys. Thank you for watching the channel. And I uh, hope that helps. And please hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, God bless y'all, and we'll talk to you later. Deuces.